Hello folks, my name is Venkata Bharat and I would like to show you a demo of a, on a web application called Online Bookstore where users can order books which I have developed using Spring Boot, MySQL, Angular and Bootstrap. So let's take a look at the home page. So as you can see, these are the book categories that are available and these are the books that are in this category. So as you can see here, we have added a search functionality. You could search for keywords in the database. I'm um, sorry, I think I got it wrong. Yeah. So these are the books that are found in the database, which has the keyword Python. Let's add extra some more keywords. All right. And also, I've also added the feature of uh, sorting the books by price you could either sort it from low to high or high to low as you could see here so here i've applied low to high so 600 700 so it's all it's an ascending order and this is a descending order 1900 800 700 600 so as you can see here i've also added uh, the feature of pagination and this is implemented using uh, a design pattern called lazy loading so from by the server side so we don't load the next five books unless the user clicks this next page so when you click its second page it makes an the angular application makes a network call to fetch the next five books so this way it keeps the application fast even when uh, there's a lot of data so we don't load unless it's uh, requested by the user also here in the top you could see in the header there is a status com a card status component which shows us the number of books and the total uh, price for those books uh, that a user have uh, added to the cart so we could add to the cart let's say we add it to the cart and you can see here we have added a book one book and which is a price of 900 we can add two books we can, you can see here that we have added two books which is of a total price of 1800 bucks also we can go to the page uh, book details page where it's you can see more information about the book you can add it here it shows here and also these items are stored in the session so even when you reload you still have your items so let's go to the checkout page so in here you could add or remove the books the quantity you could say you could remove it completely or you could add a few books and so I've uh, also implemented uh, I've also made authentication mandatory for the users to place any order so let's uh, log in to order so I've actually added a default user called user uh, demo user so you don't have to may sign up I know for those people who don't have patience like me so let's log in as demo user for now and later we can see how we can sign up All right. So it says we have logged in. So here it says we it's, uh, it's our username demo user. So let's go to the order history first. Let's see what all orders we have made so far. So we have made this many orders, which four orders. Okay. So we have ordered. We have ordered thirty one. That's the latest. So let's try to make an order now. Okay, Pro D three JS. So let's make an order. Okay, you guys can see here that uh, we have this order has been placed 3 4 p.m. which is today okay or we could even delete the order this way so now you can just refresh still have uh, so the order has been deleted it's been deleted off the database okay let's uh, try signing up log out and we have this information it says whether you've logged in or logged out okay let's sign up now let's say used uh, form validations so unless you unless you have uh, you enter this thing you won't get the this the button won't be enabled you can sign up and here even if the password doesn't match you won't be able to sign up okay let's sign up so you can see we have logged in you, uh, so I've made this uh, 
automatic so as soon as you sign up it automatically logs you in so it says hi Venkata Venkata is my username so let's go to the order history yeah we have no order because order history because we have just uh, signed up so let's make an order now deep learning with javascript yeah python for sas all right let's make an order maybe just one of each 300 order so now we have this order so let's log out now refresh the page and then let's log in using the same user id so you can see in the order history we still have this because these are loaded in the data database even if you delete you make a database call which deletes it you can see the information about the book by like, like this and so this is it guys and also there's another functionality so in case if you try to access something which is not present you get a 404 all the logging you get a 404 okay so this is it guys this is the demo and so I'm also leaving a link for the GitHub repo in the description if you want to check the code out. Um, thank you. Have a nice day.